Hey guys, welcome back to part number four of my 4 dx scale F14A video build series. This week we're going to continue on and build whether and finish these little guys, which are the exhaust nozzles. We're also going to get the main fuse large bun together and ready for paint and prime over next week or the week after. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is, up, I guess, what, part four? So we're moving on nicely with this. Um, last week we kind of put most of it together. This week we're going to work on the exhaust nozzles, as I mentioned earlier, and um, really kind of getting this together ready for paint um, next week or the week after. I think maybe next week we'll do the ordnance because there's quite a lot of ordnance and pylons and stuff, and then after that we'll do the, get into priming and painting this guy. So let me kind of catch up where I'm at since part number three. So added these two guys on here, just... This is later on the instructions, but I just added them so, you know, why I had it. Um, so added those two, added this little guy at the front here too. Just two little parts glued on. Again, just so I don't forget, I kind of added those right now. It's going to be the same color as the um, the fuselage. So anything fuselage colored, which isn't too badly, you know, isn't too tiny, can, can pretty much go on now. Um, excuse me, kind of losing my voice here. Um, so done that. Um, also made a start on getting that, that remember we had that, that, gap around where I cut it, cut out to put surgery to put in the beaver tail. Um, so what I've done with that is I put plastic card in. Yeah, well you can see this. A little shim down the inside of each first, glued that in. And then so I used this stuff. You kind of can see the size of that. So I used that and then um, what I then did is the gap along the bottom here, I just filled that in with this. I've got some more here, I've got slightly smaller, I've got the um, 0.4, what, what, one millimeter rod, which is 0 0.040 of an inch, I guess. So this stuff, so I ran a, a line of that um, along here and just, glued, extra, just tapped it extra thin to glue it in, kind of pushed it in to fill the gap. And then on top of then the sides, I just took some more of the first one I showed you, um, just cut it very crudely and kind of just stuck it in there. Um, each side, so I filled a gap in. So that's the main point. And then from there on in, I'm going to add some little bit of filler over the top. So we're not filling in you know, millimeters of filler, just a little tiny bit of filler now, just to fill that little gap and blend it in. And we should be good to go. So I'm really happy that's turning out. Um, the bottom just needs a little filler on the sides, and that's it. Um, no plastic card, I don't think, is needed on um, the underside. So yeah, I'm working on license. That's kind of where I'm at since we last talked. So obviously, part number 18 is where we at got up to um, last week, this week we're going to start 19, so I've already cut a couple of pieces, let's move these guys out of the way, so I've already cut the, um, the exhaust nozzle pieces, which I'm, I'm going to do, as per the instructions, I'm going to do one open and one closed, so the left one's going to be op um, closed and the right one's going to be open. You, you have both, so you can have to do both open, both closed, or one of each like I'm doing. When, it, when these guys are apart, they pretty much have one open and one closed, so that's what I'm going for. So I'm going to go with this, so I've cut say cut up clean little parts out I need um, not very many just four parts as you can see for each one so I'm going to prime those in black um, and then start with some paint not necessarily going to follow the paint guide here um, the mixes and stuff I have metallic paints met metallizers I'll use per reference instructions so um, one other thing to notice too is further down the part 19 here we talk about the adding the tail um, obviously we cut that off and stored the resin one so we don't need to worry about that so um, yeah, so we're in good shape. So let me kind of go away, get this, these nozzle, exhaust nozzles painted up, um, and then I'll come back and I'll kind of show you guys what paint I used and what colors and stuff. So um, yeah, just give me a couple of minutes and I'll come right back. Okay, so just a quick update. I've done put the base colors down. I just want to explain what I did before I come back with the next round of colors. So these guys I primed black and then I just missed on some white using the same as before. Um, the Mr. Surfacer 1500 white. So just kind of mist it on, so you still have the, kind of the black kind of showing through, just to give you that kind of grimy kind of look. I'm not sure how you can see it much on that inside. So I painted that white, um, painted the fan blades gum metal, which is LP19. Now I'm gonna come back um, with a dark color in a minute we'll talk about. And then the actual nozzles I've done with the really nice, I really love this color, the titanium silver, silver LP63, 
Really, really love the color, the way it looks. Um, really nice metal color. So that gives it kind of base color, but now I need to kind of go with next stage colors. So now I'm going to use, you've probably seen me use these before, MRP. I've got two. I've got exhaust soot and exhaust metal. So exhaust metal is like the paint. I'm very, very carefully and gently going to mist some on here to give it a kind of like sooty kind of exhaust kind of look to kind of darken it up. Um, on the fan blades as well, just like dusting. And then the soot, it's more as a paint, but I find it's more of like a wash to be honest with you. So you airbrush it, so I'm going to, well, what I'm going to do, but actually, I'm thinking last time I did it, rather than airbrush it, I'm actually with a brush, I'm just going to put, stick it in there and just drop it and let it run. So you get lines kind of trick, tri because inside the nozzles you always have those like lines of soot kind of going down. So that's what I'm going to do with that. So I'm going to airbrush the exhaust metal on those four parts here, um, on these four parts, and then I'm going to come back and um, soot inside that and then start putting it all together. Um, and we'll go from there. So just a quick update of the paints I'm using. Um, I'll come back once that's sprayed. Okay, so I'm doing pretty good with the jet exhaust. As you can see, they are painted up. Looking good. So I'll just go over a few of the colors. So this is a light gold gray, which is the um, airframe color. Then this color here was titanium silver again. It was a little too light, so I just came in with a little bit of the um, steel Alclad and kind of misted it on, um, make it a little bit darker. And then this patch here, it calls for uh, metallic grey, this kind of area right here. I went with the XF, sorry, LP19 gunmetal, which I thought was a good colour. Now, it get a little bit of texture in there, but actually it looks good, it looks like the um, ceramic kind of material. So these kind of look liking how it's turning out, but now we want to blend in all these colors and kind of tie them all in a little bit of weathering. So um, oh, washers modes too is I used the um, black tam ta panel black panel line um, color from Tamiya, and I just touched up the end of the nozzles here, um, give a little bit of black wash. Um, so yeah, so I want to tie the colors in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and use some um, more of my Alclads here. And that's um, hot metal red, hot metal blue, sepia, hot metal sepia, and uh, whoop, dropped it. That's jet exhaust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very take this in the um, spray booth, just a very very little tiny amount of each, just kind of um, spray a little bit on, um, and add some hot metal kind of effects to the exhaust and tie in all those um, metallic colors. So let me go to the spray booth and do that right now, and let's see how it turns out. So the nozzles are back and painted, and I did this last night, so they've been dry now overnight. Um, so yeah, really happy it turned out. So as I mentioned, I used those four Alclad colors. I used the um, what was it um, hot metal blue, hot metal red, hot metal sepia, and um, started with a little bit of the jet exhaust, just kind of blended all in. Um, so yeah, really kind of happy how it turned out. It made it like a more richer, metallic-y kind of color. May not be 100% accurate in terms of shades and stuff, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm kind of happy where it's at. So that's done. So they can get put aside now. So I'll put them away somewhere um, safe. And then at the very end, once this thing's built, we'll, we'll glue those in place. Uh, I think I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did add some filler to the back here. It needs another little bit, I think, just one little bit, but that's good. Um, move along the instructions here. So step 20 is to make the wings. I've done those already, they're pretty straightforward. Just glue two parts together. And what happens is, they literally just slide on. So I'm gonna paint the them first and they just click into place. And then you can, you can kind of see how smooth the mechanism and stuff is. So that's done. I've done the horizontal stabilizers. Again, just two pieces. Don't really need to show you much of that one. It just sits right here in the back in the, um, there. Um, so next instructions is gear. We're going to leave that for now. Um, skip through the gear next few pages because that gets done afterwards. Um, so we got to build the pallets. So pallets are basically um, the rails or the kind of the pylons I guess for the um, AIM-54 Phoenix missiles. So there's a few of those we're going to paint. We're going to, they're flat and they're going to go stick to the underside and they're going to be the fuselage color. So we want to paint 
glue, we'll, we'll glue those on, we'll do those first before paint, and then we can paint it all at the same time. Um, some pylons, and then we're going to move through the ordnance, which we'll talk about another day. So, just kind of going through this real quick. So, step 36 is making horizontal stabilizers. So, I've still got to do those again, pretty straightforward, just two parts for each left and right. Um, I've done the glare shields, and as you've seen, they're painted and glued on. Then I'm the pilots. Um, then talk about the steps. The steps and stuff we can do later. We don't need to do right now. We can paint them separately and add them at the end. Um, what else we got? Then we go on to the canopy. So I'm thinking all we got left to do really is I got built the tail planes, um, the tail, sorry, the mask of the canopy up and get that guy on and of the pallets and then lastly the only thing we need left to do before we get sick and paint is attaching the, um, the airbags and sealing plates see the um, airbags will paint separately but there's two options if you've got the wings forward you've got to use this option right here and if you're going wings back like us you've got to use the bottom one so we're going to use the bags 13 and 16 and then the um, the ceiling plates are going to be 21 and 22. I think, excuse me, I think I'll get oh, the plates will click in. So I'll get 21 and 22 put in, um, clicks in place, and we'll paint it all together. Um, I think I made a mistake that last time I built this. I did I painted them separately and I forgot about them, so it became a little bit of a nu nuisance to kind of get the um, weathering and stuff all tied in. So that's pretty much it. So running through that, that's a like, list, a to do list. Um, we're making good progress on this guy, as you can see, almost ready for paint and prime, prime and paint. So just need to get the, um, like I said, we've got the pallets to build, we've got the tails, um, and the bags, and the ceiling plates, and um, the canopy to mask up. And that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and start cleaning some of these parts up and um, getting ready. And then we'll come back, and then we're pre pretty much almost ready to get ready priming this guy. Okay, so. In the end, I found out you can just glue these um, these parts on the wings here, the seals, um, and it's, you can still move the wings and take the wings off and stuff. So glue those on. The wings obviously loose, but you get an idea of how, kind of how this guy's looking now. Really good. So those two are glued on. Um, also, for some reason, I forgot to put this panel on the bottom here, so I click that in place. Um, tail's done. No problem at all. Just two parts go together. Nothing really to talk about there. And um, start doing the pallets. So. Did three of them, um, one left to do. So all you do is basically just put the, the middle in, into the um, to the outs, outer. Just remember that the small piece goes at the front and the larger kind of gap goes at the back. So it's a little bit of white top glue in the middle, just hold it in place. And just sits in like that. So looking at the instructions, they do kind of go out that way. So that's the way the configuration they go. So on the bottom here, we already drilled those holes. So I'm just going to take my first one and just a little bit of white top glue. I just stuck my finger right in it. And the holes we made earlier. There you go. It sits right in place like that, easy. Other guy. Okay, it's on, and we're going to come around with some extra thin around um, once I've got these on. Then two at the back, which sit in these two holes we did. And I draw the holes slightly bigger, which I like to do too, so it makes it a little easier to locate these guys. It just fit in nicely. Again, these are the same color as the fuselage, so you might as well just stick them on and paint them at the same time. Find the hole. Cool, so they're on. Now I'm just going to run around with the round the edges with extra thin. Pressing down on my finger to 
glue stick. Just gonna hold it in place, make sure there's no gaps. And that is pretty much the palette part. So I think all we truly have left to do now is masking up the canopy. So I'm just gonna hold this a little bit for it's dry and then we'll get the canopy masked up. Okay, so you can see the canopy's on and we've um, masked it up and stuff using the mask set which came in the kit. Note to self and everybody following this, <laughs> there's um, a center seam on the canopy and uh, as an idiot I was, it, I was, went ahead and started sanding the center seam off and that kind of stuff and I realized it's actually molded on the inside and it should be there. It's, I think it's like a lightning, adapt, a lightning um, antenna or something. So the line, center seam on the canopy, don't leave it, don't sand it off. Um, we can't anyway because it's on the inside. So I spent like half an hour sanding a seam that didn't exist off and then having to polish it back again. So anyway, so we're good to go anyway. So the front part is glued on, used um, extra thin. There's um, none of the clear parts are near the edge, it's a really big panel, so I don't need to worry about clouding or anything. So that's glued in nicely, perfect fit. That's sort of the back one. The back one I just um, tacked in place with a couple of tiny little drops of um, PVA glue. This is crystal clear. Just so it means um, it would, I, could, I could pull this off pretty easily and um, peel it off. There'll be no damage underneath it, but it'll keep it in place while I paint it and it won't fall off and stuff. So we're pretty much ready for paint now. So um, all that's left to say is... I'll, I'll end the video with this and start the painting video but the same point is the inside of the canopy frame is um, black so before I do any paint or any primer or anything I've got to make sure I spray this whole area black so then from the inside you can see that black um, and on the upper side it's going to be whatever you know the, the gold grey or whatever you put on top of that so again reminder in, this frame should be black so the first thing you need to do is spray the whole thing black and then any primer paint goes on top of that um, but yeah, we're in pretty good shape. So that's pretty much it for this week. Um, got it to ready paint stage for the main main assembly. We're going to paint paint this bit as one lump, and then all like the um, stabilizers and the tails and the wings and stuff. We'll just do separately. Um, at the same time, we'll just it's easy to do it separately, paint it and decal it, and then at the very end, kind of super glue it or PVA glue it all on into place. Um, but cool, yeah. As always, any questions, please put them below. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you next week. So thank you. And goodbye.